how are you doing? Uh, I want to share with us about uh, victims of fake or false evidence. Uh, most of our people, uh, I mean black people, Africans, I want to share with us why it seems like uh, most of us believe without seeing. We believe there is God that we can see this God. And it's because of some evidence presented to our people after forcing them to embrace such religion. Remember, uh, Africans did not uh, voluntarily embrace um, any form of belief system, whether you call it African traditional belief system or foreign belief system or Abrahamic belief system. Africans, you know, they did not voluntarily accept it. So it was forced uh, on them by the slave masters or those in authority, especially those in authority. I mean, the Africans that are representing the foreign foreigners. So they, they were used as tools to make sure the will i say convince or confuse their people to yeah because before you convince somebody you have to confuse them until they don't they they don't have to question what you are saying or if they question it that means they are denying um, the creator or the god then it attracts cause it attracts uh, punishment especially death so for you to see how ridiculous that is, they make them believe dying is a tragedy. And, uh, you know, it's like a cause or a bad thing that can happen to you. But it's not. So I, I, I think some years back I've been saying this, but I want to use it again. In, it's in the Bible, the story of Jacob. And, uh, just, and his children, there's Joseph and his brethren, how they sold him to or the, um, uh, uh, let's say, slavery, right? Or they sold him to the Midianite, the Midianite sold him, sold him to um, Potiphar in Egypt. <coughs> so think about it. Um, when Joseph dreamt and tell his brethren and his uh, parents, about his dream so the, his brethren you know, when they saw him because he came to see them in the field to give them <coughs> the message from their father all that so they they see it as opportunity to take him and discern him so that his dream will not come true but you know joseph never existed jacob never existed the children of Israel never existed. Everything about Israel is fallacy. And there was no Israel until 1948. There was no Israel before 1948. So the Israel you have today is actually, <coughs> excuse me, the word that they pull in from the tree. Right? So the Israel you see today was, as many have said uh, is created by america so america is the god of israel that's why america is standing with israel no matter what so these um characters in the bible right they sold um just joseph their brother then they they kill an animal take the cloth of Joseph, the cloth that the father made for him, and they call it a coat of many colors, right? Rainbow, gay sheet, right? Yeah. So when um, they cook up that plan, they stain that um, uh, Joseph uh, cloth with animal blood, animal blood. Then they went home to their father and presented that evidence saying, you know, this look like Joseph clothes, blah, blah, what happened? But for you to see where I get it, where you see people believing, because they claim there is evidence or some evidence they have, but they don't consider the origin of the evidence. 
how did the evidence come about? They did not wait to see if it's true or not. They did not search. They just believe because they had it. They just believe because they see some evidence. So they didn't bother to check whether it's fake or real. So when Jacob saw that, he concluded. His children did not try to convince him to believe. Oh, they, oh uh, because they, they, uh, they, send, they didn't go out with Joseph, so the father sent him. So as elderly man, immediately he saw that, oh, of course, he goes in through his head. You know, he did not go with them. They didn't know that I sent him. Then they come out back with this clothes. Oh, maybe. And he decided that a um, white animal has killed uh, Joseph without seeing any part of Joseph's body. All he, all he saw is the fake evidence his children presented to him. He believed and begin, he began to mourn why Joseph was not killed. Joseph was, is still alive somewhere. But because he did not see Joseph, but he saw the clothes he himself gave to Joseph, he said, this is evidence that white animal has eaten my son. He cannot come to me. I can only go to him. In other words, he's dead. He said, I am bereaved. That's how it's written there. So that's fake evidence or false proof presented to him as old as he is according to the Bible. Yet, he concluded without investigation, without questioning, he concluded his son is gone. You know the rest of the stories. How later that son he thought was dead was alive. Okay. So bringing it to us today, bringing it to our, our, our people that believe, they, they said they believe there is God because everything that is is more have creator. So these plants, animals, the sky, you know, everything around them, he said there's, there must be a creator, there must be a God that created it. That's how they concluded there is God. Even the scientists among them, the ones that studied to say they are scientists, so I call them organized or trained or educated scientists. They are not intelligent, although they are educated, they are educated fools. So they concluded, yes, boom, there is God. How can you tell me these things exist? And they said there is no God or design, intelligent design, which it doesn't show any intelligent design. When you see people killing people, animals killing people, people killing animals, uh, people cutting down the trees, the trees falling on people and killing people, you know, you, you see mosquitoes biting people and giving them malaria, and you, you call it an intelligent design. You see an uh, animal going to drink water, another animal from water, eat them or kill them. So they concluded because of that. So what they call evidence is actually fake evidence because those trees, those animals, the sky, they never tell you there is a creator that created them. And there's no creator that have shown up and say, yes, I created this. This is when I created them. This is how I created them. So that's why when people say that God created them or God created me, I said, give me the, the date God created you or the date God created me. Where? When? And some of them stupidly say, the day I was born was the day I was created. Stupid is great. When you want to create something, involve a lot of work. You do a lot of things. You bring material from different places to create that thing. And for you to create human being or anything you call structure, you need a will. So, you know, they stole the creation stuff from ancient people. They forgot that ancient people will put will there. So they forgot it in the beginning of their book. So that's why they put it in Jeremiah. I mean, yeah, in Jeremiah, right? And Ezekiel, where it's talking about the will in Jeremiah. I think it was in Jeremiah, he said, go to the potter's house. You see what he's doing with the will, creating with the will. You cannot create anything without the will. You cannot. Okay. And... Um, so, so when they claim that um, what they see is evidence of the existence of God, no, it's not. What you see is not evidence of a creator that created it. What if you say a million people that created that thing you see? 
but you see it, you conclude it, one creator created it, or some creators created it. What are you talking about? Have you seen this creator? No. They receive you by telling you that that creator is a spirit. You believe without seeing. If that creator is a spirit and he created you, and that creator now he found it difficult or it's impossible for that creator to show up so that you and the others don't need anyone to tell you about that creator, you have seen them. Okay, let, let me borrow from that another story again in the New Testament about the woman of Samaria at the world that met Jesus, right? They said the woman went into the city or into the uh, people telling them he has seen a man that told him what everything he has done maybe is it the messiah or that or that so the people followed her they did not believe her maybe because it's a woman you know they wrote the holy book against women so whatever women say or do you no know, they have to investigate it but if it's a man that say it okay then they went and they saw Jesus. They said they persuaded him and the order. Then they tell the woman, you don't need to tell us. We have seen the man you're talking about. That's how it's supposed to be with God. That's how it's supposed to be with heaven. That's how it's supposed to be with Satan. That's how it's supposed to be with whatever they taught you to believe. Whether you call it afterlife and all that, you're supposed to see. Seeing is not believing. Ahonanyekwe is not seeing is believing. When Igbo people say Ahonanyekwe, they're saying when you see, you agree. Of course, you agree when you see. I want to do susu. You know, my co workers introduced me to it. So I was sitting with the guy. You know, I say, listen, I don't want any story. I don't want tomorrow. He say that person did not bring up, blah, 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 blah. So he began to mention people that I need, you know, both our our manager is in it and all that. I decided to do that, right? Then um, she has to call one of them. I think the one he know that I always interact with. Then she say, yeah, that one says she's doing it. And the other one, remember the guy already gave me the list of their names. Their names are there. Right, but she ha he has to call that lady because she's ha at home for her to tell. Uh, she was he was trying to show me that it's not fake and I, I it, it's been going on for years. You know, my money is saved and all that. Okay, then when I gather the evidence that I needed, they are not fake, it's not hearsay. Okay, and the guy at actually he met me on Saturday. Close to my street, the other street over there, when I went to store to buy something. And when, that's when he tell me, you know, this thing is still going on. They are starting new. You know, he want to put me in. Somebody is out. Okay, so, you see, I get the evidence to put it there. The another thing I tell him, see, I tell him, you know, you know how I behave, how I talk, right? But I hate promise and fail. Because you tell me my collection date will be 15th December. When you reach that, time i don't want to hear any story in america you know you won't fight it's only you go to court or all that so that's it evidence but our people today most of them believe uh christianity is their religion nobody forced them islam is their religion nobody forced them judaism is their religion nobody forced them nobody forced them to believe in jesus no they force us your parents force you your parents force you to be a Christian or a Jew or spiritualist or whatever you say you believe. You were forced. You did not verify it. But you claim because you did not know how they force you. Because they force you when you were so little. It's called childhood indoctrination. That is forcing you. Raising you is forcing you. Raising you. Disciplining you is forcing you. There is a reason why you resisted that then. But because you don't have the power to stand, like as an adult, like myself, now I can stand and resist whatever anybody bring before me. I can stand. My parents can satisfy to that. I communicate. With, I, I spoke with my daughter, my mother today. She said, because she thought maybe I have changed. I said no. I cannot support what I am against. Maybe behind. Yeah, some people think I'm like, oh, hypocrite. Well, but you give to it. I said, no, you don't know me. My own mother, 
my own mother. <laughs> no. He said, God, this I say, keep it about who that chineke. A boss of chineke, I don't know. Only one is here because he's not taking care of you and you are serving him. You believe this God can heal. He's not healing you. You need money to go to hospital. So what is the essence of worshiping that God? Where is the power in the blood of Jesus? What is the power in the name of Jesus? How can you believe in the healing in the name of Jesus? He believe in the power of God. And when you are sick, you, need, you have to go to hospital. No, I say no. He said that if you call him, he will answer you. He will heal you. If you seek call the elders, they will anoint you and they heal you. There's no way Jesus asks, or nowhere in the Bible, Jesus asks his disciples to go to hospital, especially after the resurrection. Because before resurrection, in some places, tell them this time, this kind cannot go out except by praying and fasting and all that bullshit. Or the sick need the doctor. But after his resurrection, after he has ascended and received all the power, as he claimed, he said, go, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, freely you receive, freely you give. You will lay hands on the sick, they will recover. He said, these signs will follow them that believe. Yet, these signs are not following our people. They keep believing. What is the evidence they have to keep believing? That's what I'm telling you. They have fake evidence. False proof. And on the top of the list of the uh, false evidence they have is testimonies. Testimonies of people they cannot verify. You have had some people challenging our people that believe in Jesus, believe in God, especially Jesus. They said, have you seen any real person that is sick and that person got healed in the name of Jesus? They asked it even to one reverend father. He said, I have not seen, but I've, seen, I have not, I've, I've seen it in television. <laughs> That's a testimony. Made up testimonies. They are not real. I've been saying that and keep saying this. There is no true testimony anywhere. There's no real testimony. Any testimony they are testifying in the name of God, the name of Jesus, is a lie. Anybody that tell you that God has done this, God has done that, they are lying. Check my profile. You see how my friend list is dropping. It's not people that are unfriending me, unblocking me. I'm in, I'm in my regular profile. I'm the one that daily dropping them, unfriending them. How can you tell me I'm plus one today, I give thanks to God, and you are my friend list? You are stupid. Get out. How can you tell me it must be God? After you graduated from school, you say it must be God. Get out from my friend list. I don't need you. I say instead of, from, of for me to reject fast for faith, i rather commit suicide. They call it suicide, but it's not. Yeah, some children, they were born, they died because they see, no, they, um, this is not the type of family I'm supposed to be born. Religious family, spiritual family. Then they call them Obanje. Or they call them other names. No, they have to stay. No, they shouldn't. Especially when you believe that God is the one that gives life or God is the one that keeping you alive. Why are you saying people are killing themselves? Why are you against abortion? Why are you against murder? Why are you against killing of any type? Let God leave it to God. Leave it for God. God is the one that give it to them, not you. So it's none of your business. But you claim they're taking their life. Yet you say it is God that give them. <laughs> it is their life. My mother asked me that. I said I was not created. He said, "Who who who make you to be born?" I say, "You have sex with my father. That's how you born me. It's natural thing. It has nothing to do with any God." But if you believe God can, is the one that is giving me money or doing anything for me, then let God, that God do it for you. When you say you believe in God and you're going to a human being for help, that your belief is to be, it means you don't know what you believe. And you should stop it, but you, you insist believing it. I'm not asking you to stop it or to deny your God, I mean. But when you are in need, I'm not responding. The same thing happened yesterday, my daughter, who, she need money. I say, for what? Because you cannot tell me you need money, I just give you money. No. I'm no longer a Christian. I have to ask questions. And then you have to deny God or say, yeah, it's not God that is providing. Or let's 
maybe I made up my mind because I supposed to in the first place to avoid some you know issues going on in America. So I asked her, blah blah. She said, Oh, I don't I will never deny God. I said, Number one, I'm the one that introduced you to that God. I'm not asking you to deny God, I'm only asking you to be honest to yourself. Say the truth. You need money. God cannot provide money. You call me because I'm your father and I provided you money. God cannot do that. He says she don't want me to bring it up anytime we talk. I say, then you stop talking to me. I, my own daughter or our own daughter because I don't like calling mine because I'm not the only one that I have her. Because some of you think, oh no, he's just talking. No. Talk what? Fuck all that. We don't need talk. No. What I'm doing is to wake us up. Wake us up. If you believe God is your provider, I will not provide for you. And if you say I'm God, I tell you I'm not. I'm above God. I am not God. No, you are the God. I say, no, I'm not. God is a fairy. I am a human being. I have power. God don't have. I can talk. God cannot talk. I can see you. God cannot see you. So people have that fake evidence. That's why you see them when they open this prayer house or this church, they keep trooping there. That's why you see all the men of God are cashing out, especially in Africa. In America, they are cashing out, but at least they know that they get sued. And men, some of them have case, cases going on in the court. Some of them settling in secret without telling people that they have settled it. And that case will be like that. Or if they, after they settle it, they, they just tell their member is settled. Okay, now they move on. They continue following. They continue believing without seeing. Another fake evidence that make people believe in God or believing in lies is the celebrities, musicians, presidents. Oh, black people believe because they say white people also believe it. But they use it to rob you and they are better than you. How are you believing the sentence your slave master believe? Why are you believing the sentence somebody that put you in your miserable, in your misery, I mean, your miserable condition, believe. Think about that. You're telling me both of us believe in God and this person is making life unbearable for me and we believe in the same God. <laughs> no, we cannot. You, you cannot even live in the same room with your enemy. Then how about somebody that says both of you are worshipping the same God, believe in the same God. But this person is looting your treasure. This person, uh, treasure or whatever they call it, this person is robbing you. This person is living better than you. And you say, both, both of you are praying to the same God, worshipping the same God that is providing for him. But that God is not, oh, they tell you maybe because your prayer is not high enough, your faith is not strong enough, or uh, they give you some lousy excuses. That's why somebody says, the only thing God is good at is giving excuses. That's the only thing God is good at. If, you, if they use God for you know, excuses, but not for reality, not for fast, not for what is real. Fake evidence. That's why you see majority of people believing. You say there is no God, but Obama believed there is God. You say there is no God. Trump believed there is God. You say there is no God. Americans believe there is God. Do you have what Americans have? If it is God that is make, that made them what they are, why is that God not making you what you what you're supposed to be or be like them? Huh? Wake up, my people. False evidence. So there's another thing I want you to know when I'm talking about all these celebrities and um 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 like um, stories in the bible and all that so the two things people believe because other people believe some because their parents believe as we used to call it our family faith our family religion so they believe and they say also the book say that so two things they say that like when you read the, in the book of Psalms, you say the once has God spoken. Twice have I heard it. People and the book, twice. They had it. 
it is written and somebody said yes god spoke to me or god says so so thing and they also quote the book so the book is their proof so they said once god has spoken twice have i had it power belongs to god that's why they believe it power, no god has said that yeah power belongs to me i'm the one that make you to get pregnant and the one that give you so go if you go you will receive miracle you will, you will get open door to marry to make money to uh, for favor and all that no it is people once uh, uh, once he said once god has spoken to wise have i heard power belongs to god so it is written and the words people spoke but it's not true god has spoken has destroyed many people's brain they believe god has spoken how do you mean god has spoken through the book god has spoken through the people that means there is god no why can't that god speak directly to all of us i don't mean to you i say to all of us the sun shines upon all of us not to some people at least their books say that god is the sun to show you so if the sun shines for everyone why can't god show up for everyone that we are god think god has spoken is not evidence yeah god said it no it's not my mother said to me, I'm still keeping that Bible you wrote, uh, blah, blah, blah. I said, it's because when I come to Nigeria, your, your rooms are locked. But if I come, bring, put that Bible where, so long as it's my Bible, I will burn it. <laughs> I will burn it. <laughs> I will burn it. I've been doing that. Last time I went to Nigeria, they put all this uh, God of Abraham uh, banner, you know, for their church program. I bring it, I throw it in the fire, I burn it. I burn them. You can't put Bible where I am. I throw it away or I burn it. If it's not my own, I throw it away. If it's my own, I burn it. Victims of fake evidence is why people keep believing. What evidence do they have? God has spoken. What another evidence they have? It is written. It is written. It's not proof. It doesn't mean it is true. It's just like history. True history is not written. It's lived. Africans, we aren't writing history. Because you don't write history. You live history. It is the conquerors that wrote history to favor them, to justify the atrocities, the evils they did to us. And many of us went to school. That's the history we know. One of us that uh, uh, older than me at work, I asked him, do you know about Berlin Conference 1884, what happened? He said he never had that. Well older than me, educated person too. I said, you see, but the history you know is the one white people wrote. But where they divided Africa, the present Africa we have today, is under their control. You don't know how they don't teach you that because they know if they teach you that, you will not agree to go to school anymore. That's why I said, I'd rather be childless than have a child or children that we go to the school system we have today. We need to restore our things. We need to recover our things as a people and stop believing because of the fake evidence. And they do that on purpose. They give you those fake evidence. It is written. God has spoken. That person believe it. The Romans believe it, so it must be true. They are, their place is better than our place. Okay, so we have to believe. Sunday, that God will remember us, and our place will be like, no. Their place are better than our place because they robbed us. They killed us. They enslaved us. They used our uh, labor force, and they used our resources. They were not builders. We were. But today, they are claiming to be builders, and we are the slaves. How long are we going to believe, uh, be believing their lies? It is time you wake up Africans and trash all those fake evidence. They keep attaching it to nature. People in spirituality attach it to nature. Even people in religion also attach it to nature. That's why in Islam, the moon, they worship the moon. In Christianity, they worship the sun. And in Judaism, the same thing, they worship stone too. <laughs> they attach their belief, their faith 
nature. No, nature is natural. It's not spiritual. Don't, you, you don't need to attach it to anything if it's real. You don't, I'm real. You don't need to attach me to any person to know I'm real. You come direct to me. That's me. So our people need to wake up, especially when we are suffering. You see how we, we join our slave masters in sports, entertainment, and all that. How about in science? No, we are not with them. And if anyone among us rise up to show our ancestral abilities, potentials, they take that person like Philip Emeguale, the father of the internet we are using today. Most of Africans today believe it's white people that gave us internet. The phones we are using today, they believe it's white people that gave it to us. Televisions, cars, the things we are enjoying today that our ancestors, we, we invented them. But we have given them to the white men because they wrote the history. So the school we went on, whatever history they taught us, become the fake evidence our people believe in. Every Christian will tell you that, unless some of them that have traveled and begin to hear it, they will tell you that if not for white people that brought civilization to us, we, we are scavengers, we are nothing. No. White people did not bring civilization to us. We civilized them at least twice. We teach them how to build road. I think one, one person said that. I said, no. It's not white people that teach us how to build road. They don't know how to build anything. We taught them how to build everything. Everything. The only thing white people invented is evil and the credit. They did evil to you, then they take credit of whatever that, that is real. Um, I mean, whatever you invented, they take credit of it. But I'm happy that many people are waking up. And the most people I need to wake up is our women. Women have powerful influence over men naturally it's not evil influence no a man that want to be with a woman we always do what that woman want just to have that woman it's natural and the wise women supposed to wake up and begin to use it that's why god hates women that's why religion hates women that's why spirituality hates women yet women are the most uh, propagate uh, uh, preachers or uh, propagandas of it that people that keep supporting it more you know how your mother is so religious your father is really but it's not that see, anything that happened your father can follow but your mother most of us are deeply in religion or spirituality because of our mother not because of our father father <laughs> and see how they put it because they wrote it to subjugate he said that a wise son makes the father happy or gladdens the father but the bad son the foolish son brings sorrow to the mother <laughs> not the father the father can leave you any time to go with another woman because that is natural thing to do but you need to wake up our women so that we stop cutting the, the, the head of Samson. <laughs> we stop following Solomon, one man having 1,000 women. <laughs> because you are follower, you keep following. You keep following. You make you slave. Okay, you are my master. Uh, no, wake up women, African women, black women, you young girls on social media, wake up, trust God. There's no God doing anything for you. Any evidence of God is fake. No matter how they try to paint it. God, any evidence they say, this is evidence of the existence of God. That thing is fake. They tell you, oh, because you are alive. That's why to show that God, no, it's not. Try to cross the, the, the river in your village. <laughs> Let me see God deliver you from drowning. <laughs> It's not God. Try to cross busy road. Just close your eyes. Give, put your life in the hand of God. And as you cross, you say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Cross, let's see. Go stand on the train, <laughs> train rail and they say, pray to God. Kneel down there, praying to God. You know, just stay there. Let's see what we, what, if the coming train will stop for you so that our God will stop it. 
impossible. So stop believing the evidence they give to you. If they prophesy to you, ask them for date. Tell me the date it will happen. That's where you prove their prophecy is a lie and every prophet is a liar. They cannot. They will tell you what word it will happen. I like that. I think one, one, one guy in my, on my friend list um, shared that video. A guy living in, I think, in, in, in Europe pretended to... Uh, to be following the man, the prophet. Say, I've been sharing your messages, blah, 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 blah. I need help. I'm suffering. My father is sick and uh, blah, blah. The guy begin to talk. My wife, my wife, uh, I think he said my, my wife either divorced him or, or dead or something like that. The guy, you know, they enter, he enter into spirit and begin to talk nonsense. There is a river in your, in your place. What is the name of that river? Blah, blah, blah. He begins to say, yeah. When, when you go, the guy say, yeah, anytime I go to my village, I swim in that river. I say, you are swimming, you are destiny. He say, blah, 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 talking rubbish. You don't know the guy who set him up <laughs> to disgrace him. The guy say, my father died five years ago. <laughs> my wife is right here. <laughs> And he begin to talk nonsense. My prayer work. Did, how can you be a black man or African and say your prayer is working? You are stupid. Don't you see how your people are suffering? Your people are suffering in your village. Your people are suffering all over the world. Just because of the color of their skin. And you're talking about God. Because of fake evidence they provided to you. Some of you, your parents, is that evidence. My mother, my, pa my father tell me there is God. Why can't you think? V investigate that evidence. Find out if it's true. Don't be like the Jacob of the Bible that saw something that was cooked up to cover their evil and he concluded, my son is dead. He sang funeral song, cried, they try to comfort him. He say, no, leave me. He cannot come to me. I can only go to him. <laughs> and many of you believe that. You read the Bible and you see that oh, those of you that are claiming spirituality, all of those things are quoted with the Bible. You don't know that. You have the same belief with the people you are calling religious people and saying spirituality is not religion. Bring whatever you are doing. Look at what they are doing. You say they copy it from you, yeah, because like begets like. That doesn't make your spirituality real and their own fake. No, your own is fake and their own is fake or fake. <laughs> oh, instead for me to go back to God or Jesus, I rather kill myself. I say that. I say, who tell you suicide is bad? Who tell you that? Our ancestors never see suicide, uh, killing themselves as bad. The ancestors of myself, that's myself. I am one of those people in America. When they forced us, brought us in America, with the chains on our neck and arms, we walked back to the ocean. We said, death is better than slavery. Death is better than bondage. I'd rather die than serve someone else. Say, can't you look around? You see people having children that are becoming servants in palaces, serving in other people's company. Yet they claim they have God. This God is rich. God made everything. Now, mother talk, I say, yeah, you die, you go to heaven. He say, no, I still want to live good life. I said, you believe Jesus has paid it already. Why, why are you trying to live a life again to make heaven die? You get sick, now. why are you going to hospital? You don't need medicine. That sickness is supposed to be your passport to go meet Jesus. To go meet the God you believe in, that is there waiting for you, have mansion for you, the road made with gold, but you are in the world suffering. When you are in need, you call, you go to human being to help you. Where is your God? Where is your Jesus? You believe in Almighty. You see Muslims, you see Christians, you see they come on on on, on, on social media and ranting for God. Let God speak for Himself if that God exists. Stop believing because of fake evidence. When you see the true evidence, you will know. You will not you will not have to believe. They ask you to believe because it's a lie. There is no truth in it. If there is truth in it, you will know. 
You see, you believe somebody is rich. You went to their house. They give you drink. They give you food. Some of you reject it. They say, no. Uh, they give you money. You say, man, I don't want Every time I come here, you give me this. You give me that. Teach me how to make this money. How do you connect me? You did not believe. See, you did not believe now. You go for practical. No, I don't want to be collecting from you anymore. I don't want to remain a beggar. I don't want to be living this slavery life. Teach, I want to be free, uh, free to give others, spread money like you. But you know the funny part of it? After they do the, or when you connect them, they make it, they say, it is God. Mm. Everything they tell you about heaven, about God, about Jesus, they are fake evidence. Whatever evidence they give to you, they tell you the statue of Mary was shedding blood, the statue of Jesus was crying, Whatever it there is a lie. No statue can cry blood. They 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 pro, they put that and they they program it. But you believe. So uh, uh, they show me one thing. They show us. I think it was some years ago. They share it on Facebook. We are people who are drinking water that was coming from the statue. I think either in a place like India like that. They found out it was a toilet that was leaking somewhere. The water coming out. They were drinking it. As <laughs> How about this one? Because people believe when you have car, that shows that uh, God is blessing you. Now, this guy went and sold his father's land and he came telling his mom, Mommy, I have made it. The mother began to dance. Hey, God, God, I've answered my prayer. God has done this. God has done that. Until the father comes. I said, Who sold my land over there? The guy said, Yeah, I'm the one that sold it to buy this car and all this. Remember, the woman already ascribed the sources to God. When God did, did nothing, she's celebrating. When the guy actually put them deeper in poverty by selling their land, their only land, because of car, because he wants to meet up, because the parents have been, you know, in, uh, talking trash to him. You are Mesa in abroad, making money, you are here. You are Mesa in the city, making money, you are here. When you did not give him something, okay, this is money, go to city, go to that place to make it. And some of them, they give them, they go and squander it. Yet they keep trying. It's time for you to wake up, my people. Every evidence they give you about God is fake. Stop fighting people like myself. who I, I'm not asking you, oh, if you fight me, I will stop. You are stupid. The more you fight me, the more you are putting fuel in my fire. You are hate. You are tax. They emboldens me. Don't you look at me. See, look at me very <laughs> Look at me. Do I look like someone that is? <laughs> oh, you say, oh, your men are doing this. They, they made money in America. They are building for nonsense. When they asked me to build one upstairs, I said, I'm not building. I build downstairs. What are you talking about? And after I build, you go to church and give thanksgiving, or you say it is God. God have used me to fuck you and fuck that God. Let us stop embracing all this fake evidence. No man of God is blessed by God. That's why they are collecting money. For or If there is God, they won't ask you for offering. They will ask, no. God will feed them direct. You say you're supporting the work of God. Don't you see you are stupid? God can do all things. You say God created you. God made all these things. But you are supporting his work with your money. <laughs> He's not the one that gave you the money you want to make that money. Think about that. Yesterday I walk into uh, to to work. So you know, every time I come now, they know already I'm the devil. That means I don't believe in God. So we are talking this short Yoruba woman attack. You know, she always with her scapula and all that. She don't mind what you are saying. I say, what will happen? <laughs> I say, what will happen? You are defending the God of other people. You are a Yoruba woman. Tell me about the Yoruba God. Which one is the Yoruba God? <laughs> but you are defending the God of Israel, Jesus of Nazareth. You wear scapula. But you are Yoruba God. They say, tell me about Ole Dumare. Say, God forbid. Ole Dumare, what I can Because I can't. Because I already, I was a Christian. I was a believer. So I said, okay, let it be. Just let it. I said, no. One of my co-workers is a Christian. You know, he always talk with me. You know, 
He said, just let it be, just like the same thing my daughter is saying. What, you, must you bring it up? I say, yes, I must. Because I know what is going on. If you say there is God, why are you going to human being for anything? Well, for help, I mean. Why? Say, no, just keep it. Uh, uh, I say, you know, what have you something? Uh, let the person do it. Let me see. Kill me. I don't have fear of death. So let us stop believing without seeing, my people. Seeing nature is not proof of God. No, it's not. What you see is not proof of there is a creator. Mm -mm. Especially, there is nothing that is created by that is created by one person. I mean, somebody that is built, somebody that is formed, like your phone. It was not created by one person. Nothing, nothing. It's we coming together, building, come let us make, come let us build. No one person, you say, oh, that person is inventor, just invent, but he's not the only one that built that thing. Nothing can be built by only one person, just as you are not born by one person. But you won't think like that. You believe there is a miracle. God made it possible. Yeah, to man, it's impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Then, but you say it's not everything that God must do for us. You say with God, all things are possible. So with God, all things, including feeding you, including paying your rent, including paying your electric bills, God's supposed to be able to do that. After all your prayers, after all your praises, after all your worship, you still have to go and work to provide it for yourself. And you still believe there is God. You are stupid. Your work proves there is no God. You are laboring, you are working to make ends meet or to provide for yourself or for your children. It means God does not exist. So don't worry, one day you will see. Give me a date. Why not today? Today is that one day. Let it happen now. Let that your God do whatever you say that God can do. Now, now. He said, now faith is. It's not, not said tomorrow. Faith will be. He said, now faith is. So if your faith works, your faith in God, let that God strike me. Let me see. He cannot. He cannot. The only thing that is saving believers from me on social media is the admins. Like Facebook admins. You know how I post. They keep blocking me. They keep <laughs> but also, I'm following them with wisdom. Think about it. We are the ones making things happen. There is no God. And anyone that is said there is proof, there is God. He said that man of God is proof. A walking miracle is a lie. Every miracle is a lie. There is no such thing as a miracle. That's why when science succeeds, they say that's a miracle. It's not. Science, scientific exploits. What people build is not miracle. There is no miracle anywhere in the world. If you know what miracle really is, miracle is God doing something without your assistance, without your contribution. Such things don't exist. People make things happen. For example, those that will tell you they are safe made millionaires, they are liars, they are thieves. They are nobody safe made. I mean, when he's talking about like making it financially or materially, no, you are not self-made. There are people who contributed to it, and most of the time, they are the poor masses that made you that millionaire or billionaire. Don't you see how they are taking advantage of poor masses? Pastors becoming rich, politicians becoming rich, because poor masses let it happen like that. If the poor masses will rise up one day and say, enough is enough, that will be end. The day most Nigerians will say they don't want to be Nigerians anymore, Nigerian will end. And the day, even if there are few people, but they know how to work with the world powers and the resources they have, like the Biafras, the day they will begin to use their brain and stop thinking it's a movement of a thing, Nigeria will end also. It's not anything spiritual. It's not anything, uh, boom, it just happened. No. You have to work on it. They work to enslave us. We must work to unenslave ourselves and free ourselves from them and keep them under us where they're supposed to be. Wake up, my people. Life is great. You see, I'm outside. 
doing this because weather is changing. It's spring time. We are about to enter summer too. You know, I always I like doing live broadcasts outside too. We matters. We are real. God is not real. Jesus is not real. Heaven is not real. Hellfire is not real. Satan is not real. Demons are not real. You and I, we are real. Gordon.